Hey again, guys. So I just got done with one of my hardest workouts in a very long time. And at my age, I'm probably gonna regret that tomorrow or maybe the next day or maybe the next day. But you know what I like to do after a really hard workout? I like to look at some baseball cards. I got something special to show. I had to break out the white glove for you guys that like this so much uh, for these extra, extra special cards. And uh, I want to start off, I did a, a video recently and I showed all the triple crown batting leaders, uh, all, the, all, the, um, all the players that won the triple crown in batting. And Derek from Hardball Crazy let me know that I guess there was some dispute about RBIs for one player uh, back in um, the early 1900s. I think it was 1913 or 16, something like that. And uh, anyway, he is like the most knowledgeable person in baseball that I know. If you haven't checked out Derek at Hardball Crazy, you need to check him out. Uh, him and uh, Shannon from Back to the Cardboards, another one that knows an awful lot about baseball. But Derek seems to put me to shame, and I thought I knew a lot about the old players and the old history. And so, since they have now credited someone else uh, having won the Triple Crown, I had to show him and add him to the list, and that's Heine Zimmerman. Now, I got a hold of two of the rarest cards in the hobby. I showed you guys my 1930 W554 Lou Gehrig. Now, these are cards that are similar to the 29 cash-in cards, but they're larger. They were hand-cut. I'm actually not sure how they were distributed. If you know, leave me some comments. But these are very, very rare. I had a Babe Ruth years ago in, like, mint condition, and I didn't realize how rare they were. And I sold it back in the early 2000s. And man, do I regret that. These are mostly blank back. However, there is a rare ad back. So, for instance, I don't know how many SGC has graded, but PSA has only ever graded 16 of these blank backs and one of the ad back. These, uh, this is a very, very rare set. Now, I got a hold of... The single season all-time RBI leader, Hack Wilson. PSA has only ever graded three of these, and this is the highest graded one. Hack Wilson doesn't have a lot of cards. His only real mainstream card is the 33 Gaudi. And uh, I have several of his uh, more obscure cards. So it's great to add this. Um, I also have an old press photo back here. I haven't shown this in a very long time. But of course, it's the same pose as his 1933 Gaudi card. I just love this. Now, I got a hold of another one, and that is the last pitcher credited with uh, throwing a legal spitball. And another Hall of Fame pitcher... Burley Grimes. And PSA has only ever graded three of these, too. Now, this is obviously raw, so I know there's at least four of them in existence. So I wanted to show you these. Now, I just want to I just want to mention that PSA has only graded a total of 71 of these for the whole set. There are 16 known players on the checklist. That's it. Now, just to give you some insight to how few that is, 71 total for the whole set. The Ronald Acuna bat down card, PSA has graded close to 1,600 of that card alone. Just to give you some perspective there. So that's really what I have for you today. I'm excited to add these to my collection. I've been making a lot of videos recently. Um, I made what I think is probably the funniest video I ever made. And uh, it's how I train 
uh, for the new PSA pricing. If you haven't seen it, check it out. But you might want to check out some of my uh, last few videos because I've been making them so fast they might not pop up if you're interested. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's what I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Just double checked. Heine Zimmerman won the Triple Crown in 1912.